Welcome to Craft Camp. This is our first Craft Camp of a series, and this week we are doing Tropical Week. I'm your counselor, Leah, and I have with me Isla, who is 10 years old, and she is a super crafter. I've seen some of the projects that she's made. And over here I have Tilly, and Tilly is 11, and she also makes some amazing crafts. So together, the three of us are going to show you how to make all four of these beautiful projects. For the Cup Cozy and Straw Hugger, you will need these supplies and materials. We first have our patterns, there's the leaves, the Cozy Band, and then we have the written instructions. The next page is the Straw Hugger and also the written instructions. I'm going to be using a pencil, craft scissors, and detail scissors. I have Aline's quick dry tacky glue, the two green embroidery threads, my embroidery needles, the clips, and then we have five beautiful wool blend pieces of felt. We have two of the coral colors, two smaller greens, and then just a strip of this yellow. If you look at the felt closely, you'll notice that it's a little bit different than a felt that you'll find at a craft store because it is actually a wool blend felt. The wool blend felt works really nicely when you're cutting little tiny pieces because the fibers stay together. The first thing you'll want to do is take those two sets of patterns and cut out all your felt. For your felt cup cozy, we have a pattern with four different leaves the template for the cozy band, and then there's this sheet with the flowers and leaves for your felt straw hugger. An easy way to cut felt from a template is like this. I'll simply cut out my leaf, not every detail, but just around the leaf. For this leaf, I'm going to use my dark felt, but you can use either color. I'll then cut a piece of felt that I'll know will be large enough for this leaf and then use these clips to hold the pattern in place. So I'm going to start here. I'll leave this without a clip and I'll cut all the way around the leaf. You can use your larger craft scissors if you want to, or you might even want to try some small ones. And when you get to the place where the clip might be, you can just move that around. Sometimes when I have this type of cut, I'll just wait till the end to cut that out. So I'm just outlining the edge. I actually really like these little scissors. And there you have a leaf. The rest of the cuts for this project are quite simple, but I'm going to show you how to cut out the flower center. For this pattern, I'll pre-cut all of the excess off the edge since it's just a rectangle. Place it right on my felt. You can see I'm placing it there in the corner. Now you'll notice that it has five little stripes in the center. So the way that I will cut that out 
is fold my piece of felt, place it on top of my pattern, and carefully clip it to the edge. Then I'm going to use these lines as a guide and with these tiny scissors make five little snips. So when you're done, it will look like this. And you can use that to make the center of your flower. We're gonna start by making this cute little straw hugger. So this will slide on and off your straw so you can take it off to wash your straw and then slide it right back on again. So everything's cut out. Shall we make this straw hugger? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Here are all the pieces for the flower. And I'll just put a tiny bead of glue right on the edge. I'll fold this over and then carefully lay that glue right on top. And between my fingers, I'll press the felt so that the fibers adhere to each other. And I'll set that down and let it dry. One of my tips to using this type of glue with felt is to really press the felt together. That will ensure that it won't pop off later. For this piece, I'm adding just a bead of glue, not too much. You can see it right there. I'm folding it over to glue these two together. And we don't want too much glue because we're adding one more bead of glue right here on the top. And then very carefully with my fingers, the tips of my fingers, I'm going to roll this up like a burrito. And I'm going to use my fingertips to squish it together. and I can set that down and let it dry. Once these are dry, I'll add a bit of glue to the back, just on the tip. Slide this into the second set of petals. And make for sure that your petals line up right between each other. Some extra glue on the back of the center and slide it right to the middle and let that dry. The last touch is adding the leaves. Again, just enough glue. I'm going to place them right on the back seam. So the last step is to make this wrap right around our straw. So we'll take our straws out and wrap it around with your fingers and overlap it. You can kind of see how much overlap that you'll have and that's exactly where you want to put the glue. And make it a, a, just a titch snug but enough that you can take it off when you need to wash your, your straw. So I'm doing that and then carefully overlapping. It might get a little messy for a second because you're gonna have to use your fingers to squish the glue. And I'm just pressing, I'm pressing it down to flatten where I overlapped them. Yeah, that looks great, Isla. That looks so good. Okay. I, think I added too much glue on I, It's okay, just press it down with your finger and it will be covered. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah. I got it on the straw. It will wash off. Okay. This glue is amazing. This glue is kids safe. That's why I love to use it for crafts. 
All right, then I'm going to take the seam and add a dab of glue on the seam, maybe, maybe a double dab, we'll see, like this. Okay. And I'll place the flower, but what we'll wanna do, so you'll wanna make sure that it goes like this. So the straw is this direction and the bottom of the leaf goes this direction. Cause that way when it slides down onto your top of your lid, it will just rest right on top. And what we'll do for now, this needs to dry for a while. So I'm just gonna set that aside and let that dry. Okay. Mine can slide off, so. And we'll wanna watch it. If it does pop off, just give it some more glue. If it slides off a little too easy, don't worry, because when you put it into your, into your cup, it will lay down right on top of your. So I'm putting it like this. On your lid. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like to keep the lid on my glue because it does dry out mm -hmm. and we don't want to get it clogged up. Now we're going to make our cup cozy. We have four leaves and then a band. And the first thing we're going to do is add some detail to our leaves. If you pull out the thread a bit, you'll find that there are six different strings and they're twisted into one. And for the first project, we'll be splitting it into three strings. So when you pull this out, and cut it, all you'll need to do is count three strings on one hand and three strings on the other and just gently pull them apart. If they start to get tangled, just stop and use your fingers to unwrap them. You can see this tiny little wire at the tip of this threader and you'll slide that right through your needle. Then simply place all three of your threads through that wire loop and very gently, gently, gently slide it back through the needle. This is such an easy way to thread a needle, especially when you're working with embroidery thread. The next thing you'll want to do is tie a knot at the end of your thread. And you can see we have double thread here. We only want to tie one. I'm just going to wrap this around my fingers to make a loop and slide the tail inside the circle and then very gently slide that circle to the end of your thread. It might also be a good idea to do it twice. This is good practice sliding that circle down because then you can match it one right on top of the other. On this leaf shape, I'm going to do a running stitch right inside of the leaf that looks like this. I'm using a dark thread on the lighter felt or a light thread on the darker felt. There's two different ways to trace this onto your leaf. I put the pattern over my leaf and I'll just punch through with my pencil to make little dots. And you can see it's very light, but you can also trace over it with your pencil as well. Or you can just look at the pattern and freeform trace these shapes right onto your leaf. This is just a guide I know this is exciting, you guys. You're gonna learn how to embroider. This is like a mm -hmm. whole new skill. Now I'll show you the running stitch, but remember the pencil side will be your back of your leaf and we'll glue that right onto your cozy so that the front side is nice and clean. So I'll take my needle and run it right into the back side where you see the pencils all the way until the knot hits the felt. Then I'll turn it over, and this is really good practice to make sure your stitches are the same length. You can either use the point and poke it through to get the right place, or you can turn it back over again and work back and forth. So a running stitch is kind of like those stripes in the middle of the road that dash. There's an even dash and an even space between each of the stitches.
And remember as you stitch, you're only using the three threads. You can also go ahead and trim that off if you want to. Even if you're stitching on one side and using your needle to guide you, it's always a good idea to turn it over once in a while to make sure you're on the right line. I finished this line and I'm ready to do the next set of stitches. I'll very carefully run my needle through just half of the felt so that I'm not stitching all the way through. Twist my thread around one, two, three times, pull my needle through, and very carefully slide that knot against the felt. These knots won't show because they'll be glued against the hugger, so those look great. Go ahead and knot your thread one more time and we'll start the next row. You can decorate all four of your leaves with this running stitch or if you want something a little bit more challenging, you can try the back stitch. I've already drawn my pattern onto this leaf and I'll start this leaf exactly the same way. I have my knot tied. Since I'm using the darker felt, I have the light thread. And rather than skipping a stitch, I'll actually back stitch. Here it is on my face, so put the needle through, and rather than going forward, I'll go backwards. Put the needle through giving a gap and then stitch backwards. You can make your stitches narrow or you can make them wide. These are pretty narrow. And you can see here what it looks like finished. Running stitch and back stitch. Running stitch and another back stitch. Once you've finished all the decorative stitches on your leaves, you'll glue the cozy to fit your cup and then add the leaves. Once you have all your leaves stitched and ready to go, you can arrange them and decide how you want to make one go over the other sort of have an idea of how you'll want to glue them onto this. But before we glue them onto this, we're gonna take this piece and glue it around our tumbler. So what I'm going to do is measure it like this. And it looks like it's pretty much, we're gonna to wanna to glue right on the edge. So I'll take that off and I'll add quite a bit of glue onto this little tab. And remember to put your glue lid back on and then I'll fold it over and you can see there's there's a little corner here and a little corner here, and you'll want to line these corners up to those corners. If a bit of glue squeaks through, that's okay, because we're gonna cover this up with a leaf. And same thing, I'm gonna press it really hard so that it really gets into that fiber of the felt, and I'll let that dry. Is that good? That looks good, that's okay. Right way. Yep. So we'll let that dry, press it down really hard, let it dry. And once it's dry, I'll slide it onto my cup, my tumbler, and you want it to sit right in the middle. Then I have these four leaves. I know basically how I want them to lay out. So I'm gonna overlap, overlap, overlap. So that means I'll want to start with this one and I'll place it right here over the seam. So I'll put quite a bit of glue 
onto the back. You can see all my funny stitches back here. Put quite a bit of glue, not so much that it's gonna ooze out, but enough to really secure it. And then place that right on. And I'm trying to make sure that my leaf doesn't overlap too much onto the cup and it got a little messy and that's okay. You'll wanna try and use your fingers to pat it down. Now I'm going to continue and put these leaves all the way around. This one will go here. I have extra glue on my fingers, so. So a good way to do this is I'm going to place my leaf in where I want it to go. And then with my hand, I'll peel back half of it. So can I just Whoop. put glue right along the middle? Yeah, you can do that and then add it to the edge later on. You'll want to have all of your bits of leaves glued down when you're done. And then I can lay it over the top. And you don't want your leaves to overlap too much, just a little a little bit, because you'll want them all the way around the mug. And then I'll go back to this side and do the same thing. And just remember, once you put the glue on, you want to press it down onto the band so that it really adheres into it. So there we go, we'll wrap that around. And then the next leaf, and I can kind of see how the last leaf will lay. So let's do this leaf. I'm just rubbing it with my fingers. So that works. Should we? Do we need some paper towels? I don't know. I can just. Wipe All right. It off. So like that. Yeah, that looks good. If you need to do it flat, you can do it. You can pull it off the the cup as well. Looks like you got it. And then here's the last leaf. Isn't this fun? Yeah, it looks good. Once it dries, you can snug it up really tight so it stays. One of these little glues is perfect for one project. I have just enough glue to finish. Press it down. And now I can take the lid off and I'll slide my straw through. And there it is. That looks so good. We finished our cup cozy and our straw hugger all in this tropical theme. So we're gonna stay really hydrated and drink lots of water this summer, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm.